Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Lila Web Dev. In this video, I am going to show you how to set up the C programming language on the Windows using the Visual Studio code. So normally you will be having a doubt that uh, long back we have learned about the C programming language. How we can set up the C programming language on the Windows and how we can write the code in the Visual Studio code. Let's try to see. Whether if you are a beginner or just need to quick guide means so this tutorial or the, this video uh, has you covered let's drive in into this one so now first first of all in order to run the code or c language c programming or anything so what we need to have it is first we need to have a c compiler so for this one what i will try to do we will use the min gw so we can open your uh, browser and search for min gw download you can search for this one and here you will be able to see the minimalist gnu for windows download and here you need to click on the download thing and we need to download itself so automatically the download will be start so the download will be started so it is started so after after completion of this one so you need to open this file so let's try to open this file so when you try to open this file so it will give you some set of thing something like this so here you'll be able to see so min gw get iphone version like this so let's try to click on the install and here it will ask you the installation directory where it needs to set up so you can click on the continue and it will try to connect so here it will ask you basic setup so right click uh, so on one by one one by one so you will be uh, trying to do it so here in the install it will take some time to install let it install so here it is completed and if you click on the continue oh sorry so okay so here it will be asking you so what is the thing you need to install so here you'll be able to see you need to select mark for installation so here on this one so here you need to click on the mark for installation for, for min gw32 hyphen gcc g++ so this is thing you need to click on and normally you need to go for installation so where we can see all packages sorry basic setup in this basic setup so we have selected this one and somewhere you'll be able to see installation yeah so apply changes so here it will ask you okay to proceed so you will click on the apply and it will connect to the and, and it will install <coughs> the GC, gcc so let it install so after installation we need to set up the environment variables we'll set it up so everything got installed so you can close this one so now this one is completed so now here we can go for uh, we can close this one and let's go for the environment variable setup so here if you try to go into this one in in that seal here you'll be able to see the mgw and here in the bin you will be able to see the gcc folder so this one we need to add it in our environment variables so let's try to add it environment variables and here in the environment variables and in the path so you can click on the edit and here you can click new and already this uh, cmgw is added for this one so there is no need to worry so already it is added so i'm clicking on the ok so you need to add it like this so fine so now it has been added so now we have added we need to add the same min gw to our system path so we have opened our startup menu search for environment variables and click on the edit the system variables so you, you click on the ok to all in all windows to save the changes fine so now the compiler is ready to use now let's install the visual studio code so if you don't have the visual studio code means so then you have a code.visualstudio.com there you can install the visual studio code also so here code.visualstudio dot com so here you can install this visual studio code so it's not a problem so you click on the download for windows and follow the instructions once it is installed so you can open the visual studio code so let's open the visual studio code so i am opening this visual studio code let us open so after opening this one so you will be able to see like this and here you need to click on the extensions so in order to install the extensions so here you can search for the uh, C or C++ so C++ you can search it for C++ or C or C++ so here you try to install the C++ so this one and also the code runner also to run the code and all those things so now so these extensions help us to write debug and run C programs more efficiently so fine 
so now we have completed our thing now let's try to open uh, let's try to create a new folder here in this one so let's go to the d and here i will create a new folder so here i will create c language okay and this is our folder let's go into here and here i will create a open folder and in this one let's go to the d and here i will write c language i will be selecting this folder so i have selected this folder okay now here let's try to create a new file so that is nothing but i will be creating a new file that is nothing but hello.c that's it so now i am creating the hello.c so let it create now here so let's try to write the first code so here i will be writing hash include and here i will be writing studio.h and here we will be writing into main so this is our int main and now we will be writing printf so just i will write a printf only just to, in order to check whether it is working fine or not so hello world i will be using the hello world that's it so if you want you can return zero that's it so this is our code and now if you want to so now we will now open settings so here you can click on this gear icon and here you can run the code so just you click on that one so automatically the code will be running so here so here you will be able to see the hello world the output we are able to see it. so this is how so now this is how we will be using it so this tells the code runner so now automatically the code is running so now you, you can able to run this code without any problem and here you will be able to see a hello.exe file so if you want to run means hello.exe file if you click enter so then again you will be able to see the output so congratulations now you have successfully set up the c on the windows with visual studio code and uh, and that's it you are all set to start coding in the c so this is all this is how we will be set up the c language in the windows and the visual studio code this is how you will be writing it now we are able to successfully run the c programming language in our uh, windows system so if you want to debug this one means so you need to install the gdb so gcc debugger we need to install it i will try to i will try to explain you that one in the next video i will explain you so hope you understood about this concept so if you have any so this one uh, so if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel lila webdev for more programming tutorials so if you have any questions drop them in the comments below i will try to give the reply to all those things so thanks for coding thanks for watching and happy coding so this is all about the c programming language so we will be doing a little bit of basics and all those things we will be covering up in this playlist so i will be, soon i will be covering more videos also thank you guys bye